Hey Thinksters and welcome to this video where I want to show you real quick how to sum over rows and columns of a uh, list of lists in Python. So a list of lists, you can see the list of lists as a um, Python uh, two-dimensional matrix. And um, so for example here, if you want to sum over all columns, then you would just calculate 1 plus 4 plus 7 to get the sum of the first column, which is 12. Then you calculate 2 plus 5 plus 8 which is uh, uh, to get the sum over the second column, which is 15 and so on, okay? And uh, you can also so sum over the rows, like here, you sum one plus two plus three is six. It's the sum over the first row and the second row is 15, third row tw 24. So this is what we want to accomplish. How to do this? Say you have the following um, data uh, set, a, a list of lists, uh, which is, um, yeah, like we have three columns, three rows, the data you have just seen. And now the first method, I, I'll show you three methods to calculate the sum over the columns first, and then later I will quickly talk about how to calculate the sum over the, over the rows. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, the, and then I, um, so because summing over rows is much easier than summing over the columns, but first let's, let's get the difficult stuff done. Okay, so the first method is, uh, we we create a variable called res for result and use list comprehension to create a new list that contains the sum of all three columns. Okay, so the first value should be should calculate uh, the first one should calculate one plus four plus seven, which is twelve. So uh, we want to have three values for three columns, and we use list comprehension to create this list. And uh, list comprehension consists of um, an expression and a context. This is always the way you should think about list comprehension. And the context just gives you contextual information about the, um, about the data you want to include in the list. And you use a list a vari uh, loop variable to, to like tell, the, tell Python which data you want to include in the list. Okay? And here, for example, we use the statement for x in zip data. So we use the zip function to transpose the matrix. So basically we unpack the matrix here, which means that we get rid of the outer um, brackets here. And this leads to like three input lists into the zip function. This is the first input, this is the second input, and this is the third input. And now the zip function simply, add, simply creates a tuple to pair the ith elements of all the input lists you pass into the zip function, okay? So the first tuple will be one, Four, seven. The second tuple will be two, five, eight, and the third tuple will be three, six, nine. So basically, we have now created a list of tuples with the zip function, and um, and you see that now the first column has become the first tuple, the second column has become the second tuple, and the third column has become the third tuple. And this is exactly basically we transpose the matrix. You can think of this as transposing the matrix. And we go, uh, we create a loop variable x, and we go over all. Um, columns basically now and um, which are now like tuples we go and the x is the value x just is the uh, current tuple representing the column and now we simply want to c we want to sum over the columns right this is our goal so we want to sum over all values in a given column which means that we just use the python built-in sum function we pass the column which is this tuple and we obtain the result so it's a very concise one-liner um, solution that does a job for you. So let's print the result and you see if you execute this that we get the re result 12, 15, 8 which was like which is a sum over the three columns. Okay so we have one value per column. So this is a very efficient method of doing it. If you love one-liner one solution as much as I do then check out my new book which I've just released. Uh, it's called Python One-Liners. Um, published with the famous publisher No Starch in San Francisco and we have like 60 one-liner solutions and I explain them step by step and I show you um, show you in detail how you can like um, how you can start understanding every single line of code that you will ever encounter in practice and I think this is a very good uh, way of improving your skills because I mean how can you possibly understand a complicated code base with hundreds of lines of code if you cannot even understand every single line of code. And you see it can become complicated or it can seem com complicated but for Python masters it's actually they write stuff like this all the time so it's very easy to see for them what is happening here and you need to understand these single line of lines of code before you can move on to the more complicated stuff. So this book is really, uh, so I spent like one and a half years 
polishing this book and I think it it's now in a very good shape. It's one of the best. Um, uh, it's a, it's the best Python book I have ever written, like with Finkster and we have ever published with Finkster. Okay, so um, so this is the first one line solution. The second method, method two. So let's call this method one. The second method just uh, uses the NumPy library. So we uh, import NumPy as NP. Now we create a NumPy array using the array constructor from the data. And now we have array, NumPy arrays are more powerful. It's easier to do things there. We can use slicing on NumPy arrays in a multi-dimensional setting, uh, but we can also use built-in um, NumPy functionality like the sum function on over the array, but we want, don't want to sum over the whole array. We simply want to sum over the columns and the columns like the, the short uh, columns identify uh, index is, is zero if you want to sum over the rows then you just add one here okay so you see it's already it already solves the problem very easily for the rows but it also solves it easily for the columns and now we simply print the result and you see this leads to the same um, output more or less so without the commas because now we have a numpy array as a return value and not a list anymore but it does the same um, it's basically the same solution Okay, a third method, just for comprehensibility, I won't recommend this method because the founder of Python, Guido van Rossum, he do doesn't like the map function and this method uses the map function. So uh, the map function is like functional programming. We apply a function, func, to every iterable in our iterables, okay? Uh, basically, now we apply it to the iter iterable which we pass. Usually, you pass only one iterable. If you pass multiple iterables, it will just apply the function to the tuple of the ith values of this iterable. So it will do a sip, basically. Okay, and now again, what is the iterable? It is the um, transposed matrix. We use the same strategy as above. We transpose the matrix using uh, yeah, unpacking of the data and then sipping it together so that we get column rows, basically. And um, we apply our the sum function on each element. An element is now is a tuple. It's basically an element is a, is a, is a uh, column vector and we sum over all elements in this column okay so it's pi very simple it's even shorter than our list comprehension um, solution um, but we have to do one thing we have to convert it to a list before we, before we can print it why because the, uh, the map function returns a map object which is an iterable but, but it's not like it doesn't have a pretty uh, representation on the shell so we first convert it and now we obtain the exact same solution okay so these methods are equivalent if you want to like if you want to calculate the row, the sum of the rows, then it's it's actually it's simpler. Now here we don't have to transpose the matrix; we can just the original matrix. So we replace this whole zip thing with the um, raw uh, list of lists. And here as well, I mean here we we simply apply the map function to each list element, to each inner list element, which is the row over which we want to sum. And here we specify axis one. Okay, so that's it. So it's very simple. Solution, if we execute this, then we get the sum over all um, rows. Okay, um, thanks for listening to this video. If you like it, then uh, give me a like or, uh, or hit a reply with a comment. If you want to apply your, um, your theoretical skills you have just acquired in practice, then check out my free uh, Python freelancer webinar. It's called How to Build Your High Income Skill Python. I show you in detail uh, what I so how I went from earning zero dollars per month to earning more than a full-time income with my Finkster online coding business and I started as a Python freelancer and I think it's a very good way of uh, learning to code and improving your skills in a pra very practical setting so getting a well-rounded de software developer skill set okay check out the webinar I give a link in the description below and see you in the next video bye